Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm just um, starting to, to make a quick intro about, uh, about me. So um, I don't know if, if, if uh, there's, uh, there's enough people to start, but OK, let, let's start. That, that, that should be the, the most um, quick part. Uh, well, I, I am uh, Jose Luis Coyot uh, Mishkoat. I'm from Mexico. And um, yeah, I, I'm just a graphic designer and a self um, uh, type designer. Uh, when, when, when I was um, in the university, there were no not so much uh, schools and, and careers and specializations about uh, type design. So I just uh, learned by myself. So um, uh, everything I do since uh, 20 years ago, it's basically making type design, uh, maybe my, uh, as my main activity, but uh, I, I, at the same time, I'm doing uh, other stuff. And, uh, but yeah, the, 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 maybe the, the, the most, uh, constant um, uh, stuff design. It's all about uh, type design. So um, yeah, I, I think we can uh, go with the, with the video. Um, so hello, hello everybody. Title credits have a vital role in the presentation of movies. Sometimes at the beginning and other times at the end. Even other variations that expand the practice of design for motion graphics, not just in cinema, but also in other media like the streaming world, the TV, video games, and much more. First, we're gonna take a quick visual journey through the evolution of title credits, pointing out on type language and other topics around, taking a quick visitation on the timeline of cinema history and the title credits the sign from the beginning to the current times. Then, I'm gonna show and explain some uh, title credits with title design and custom type projects through the USA work at Prologue Films with Kai Cooper and as a freelance working for other studios, showing a bit of the process and implementation of type into the motion sequences and making some talks about the wonderful journey of designing type and how we, the graphic designers with some profile on type design, can make more contributions and making better performance on the title credits and uh, motion graphics uh, projects. So, talking about the influence of graphic design into the culture today and the way how the audiovisual language have been melted in our creative performance has just given a huge influence on the masses. But let's go to the point we came here. In the title credits for cinema, from its creation, it uh, just takes a so important relevance into the cinematography imagery. First, when Louis and Auguste Lumière presented their La Sortie de Surprise de Lucien Lumière à Lyon in 1895, they didn't know but they open up a new age of visual culture that still remains today, the cinema. There were some prolific cinematographers by those first years, just like George uh, Méliès, uh, D.W. Griffith, Cecil DeMille, and others that explored the possibilities of this new way of expression. The mixing of images in motion but with a silent language, needed to take the writing reading tools that complement in the first years of cinema, just becoming information into typographic titles, including the movie's name, the creators, actors, and the crew, but also giving them an expression by itself taking the place of the voice and what happens into the movies. There were people with some specific skills that just take the role of handcraft the titles, 
usually sign painters with the ability of drawing letters and titles with some sense of aesthetic composition because, of course, there were no design existing as a profession. Eventually, they get the key role of giving an identity as a brand and with that, giving a commercial profile for the cinema industry, complementing the environment of cinematographic uh, productions. For a long time, the way of presenting the movies becomes uh, something artistic, but in some way, it was certainly generic. Some titles were look similar with some other ones, even some of them were exactly the same. There were the mindset of having them at the beginning, and when the movie finishes, there were just a the end card. It was enough for cut the film by then. Throughout the years, there were no specific rule to emphasize any hierarchy into the design of each title. Sometimes the main actor or director name uh, was bigger than the movie's name. Sometimes looks like it was more important, and other times happens the opposite. Sometimes there were too much information for a single card or screen, but eventually it becomes more consistent in, in the way of thinking roles into the title sequences, mostly around a commercial criteria. Throughout the, year, the first decades of cinema, the title credits has just become a rule as a presenter element into the movies. So, at the beginning, there were a bunch of title cards with the crew's names. Also, in the middle were placed, uh, also in the middle were placed other title designs uh, known as intertitles that describe situations, dialogues, especially in the silent age movies. Uh, onomatopoeias, uh, places, dates, and uh, other complementary information. Eventually, the title credits were placed as we know uh, currently. At the beginning, the main titles like uh, uh, movie actors, directors, some production companies' names and logos. And at the end, the crew usually the main production names in a short medium sequence first and the crew's list at the end. So, there were a lot of, of information to set anywhere, anytime. Information that is typographic elements to the sign. The sign as we know, uh, as we know uh, was inexistent in the first case of cinema. The designers had the role of designing posters and advertising in, in the middle of the past century, until one of those people got a key relevance on the history. Saul Bass. Saul Bass was a pillar on design because he introduces the uh, storytelling and makes the art of making titles into thematic short sequences giving an aesthetic for each movie by itself. He makes a unique way to present a movie representing a concept that no one else had. Certainly there were some trials in other movies in the past, but he becomes them into a new level of artistry and also made a consistent practice for every project. Any title sequences he made was not look like each other one. Also the type got a huge relevance because the graphic treatments take the titles as key elements for the concepts. Because they need to be there but since then with a sense of expanding the story of a movie. With that, a new generation of title credits designers born and expand around the world. Just like Pablo Ferro uh, Wayne Figaro and other ones. The technological advances, uh, a new cinema language, the pushing forward industry and the broad expansion of cinema all around the world led to give an open mind for different ways of presenting movies. And the creative uh, possibilities just blows out in a lot of ways 
and make a huge impact on their popular culture. The role of graphic design today is so far beyond of making stuff for print media. In motion graphics, there are a big chance to grow as creative, and especially making type for any area uh, related. In cinema projects, throughout the control of image and type, the title designers empower the building of visual identity that becomes movies into timeless and unforgettable sequences into a film. There were also a new generation in the new wave trends around the 80s and 90s, by the, but the most notable designer was Kyle Cooper, that not just follow the line of thinking title credits from the people like Saul Bass. He also had a vibrant language on a deep emotional sequences. 7. The film directed by David Fincher was the perfect sample of it and placed him into the spotlight of making a new way of doing title credits with a smart use of type and image, blending them into sophisticated and playful concepts that level up the quality of the film industry, taking advantage of the new technologies, mainly from CGI, the computer graphics imagery, but also a significant growing of the motion design as career. There were a big circle of collaboration and complementary integration of skills in between different areas, like graphic designers, animators, video editors, a 3D modelist, and more, and of course from people with a deep sensibility of design elements implementation. We have been watching amazing work in the last years from wonderful designers, but also directors that understand the key role of giving a visual performance of title credits on their movies. Also the industry got the idea of having them. The production of movies increases significantly. Also motion design studios that develop title credits grow exponentially. Studios like Imaginary Forces, Proto Films, Metal Studios, Ju Plus Co, uh, Elastic and a lot more that give a, a balance on quality and the evolution of the cinema industry as we know. Let's talk about the fact of typographic elements as a main part inside the title credits. I mean, they are the title credits. We can design different stuff for title credits in different parts of a movie. Let's talk about them for a second. When we talk about title credits, we usually think the ones from the beginning or uh, at the end. Which is certainly right, but there are some variations that we need to know. We have the main title, which is basically the displaying of the title of the movie as a single card, or a sequence to having it, meaning that no other title credits are in there, just the main title's card. We can also find the open titles. It means that it's a set of titles or a sequence of them that are on the beginning of the movie, usually before the first scene be uh, comes in and includes uh, main actors, directors, productions, names and movie title. Uh, there is also the end title credits, which are basically the same sense on the open titles, which is presenting the names of main actors, directors, main production names, but this is a sequence at the end. Uh, some movies usually put the, the titles credits at the beginning or at the end. There are not usually on both, just on the beginning or at the end. The end crawl uh, comes at the very end of the movie just after the last scene of the movie ends, or after the end titles if there, if there are ones, which is a long list of names with the whole crew that works in any way on the movie. 
Also, there are some other variations that usually comes with the graphic package of title credits. Currently, the logo reveal or presentation logos comes uh, before the open title credits and even more frequently are customized uh, according the concept of them. There are also the locators that are cards or screens that displays information designed with type of incidental names of places, people's names, dates, etc. There are also the intertitles that shows additional information of the movie. So, information. A lot of information is displayed along a movie that needs to be designed. I want to show some samples that illustrate the, the work I did for some projects with a custom type design focus. First, Ninja Assassin, an action movie directed by James uh, McTighe in 2009 with the end title credits designed at Prolog Films with the creative direction of Kyle Cooper and Hibo Klee. The challenge, the challenge of this project was making titles that can be integrated into the CGI, also developed by Ad Prolog, that were already accepted by the client. This was uh, some of my first projects working into the Prolog team at Venice Beach in California. So, after some explorations that uh, was not uh, successful yet, we try a custom type that can be emulate knife uh, weapons just like shurikens or uh, swords uh, you know the place used by ninjas because the movie was a ninja live action story uh, there were into a dark environment with a lot of dramatic and dynamic action so the design goes by making a solid and bold structure typography with some modular but certainly uh, some details that give sharp shapes and serifs into the body text. There were a lot of movement in many ways, especially in the type. It comes in and goes away from the scene in a very active way, with a lot of speed and slow transitions from many directions. Also, the baseline moves softly imitating a blade, sliding and moving all the time, with an, a little bit eroded texture and an illumination continuously changing from dark to light. Everything may accomplish its functional role of being red. The final result was very interesting because when we can't find a font that works as we needed, the, the key decision of the same a custom type was so important that fits and works in a very good way as needed. Every letter I, I design, I also carefully typeset uh, man manually for each title, spacing and curling them as the, as the every title credit needed. Uh, everything in a tight uh, time schedule because I just joined a little late with the project. After we finish, the client asked for the font we use for the title credits we made for marketing purposes but um, uh, it doesn't exist as an installable font format. They need it for making some other applications like trailers, billboards, the end crawl and so. It becomes a new level challenge because I had one weekend for having it ready and installable. But fortunately, I had the experience and the expertise to act faster on it and I finally release it. Happy ending story. Yeah! Another project I want to share is one that I made for Filmgraph, an operating studio based in Los Angeles for the live action movie of Gem and the Holograms. It comes from an 80s animated series of a young girl's glam rock band. The brief that I got from Aaron Becker, a fantastic designer and a friend I met when I was working at Prolog, 
was for building a series of logos reminding some rock bands from the past to the current times. For they can make stickers that are gonna be placed into a series of macro shot uh, sequences. So I just made a series of custom type logos with some uh, with the names of each title, uh, reminding some typographic styles from the rock imagery. Then uh, they were printed and attached to different places, like if there. If they were some sort of memorabilia around uh, backstage, that was better from project that I love. Finally, a title credits package I made I made for an independent movie called uh, Dave Made a Maze. The movie is about a man that built a maze, of course, uh, uh, made of cardboard. So, there were a couple background uh, animations made by other studios and the client needs the type for the title credit sequence and the idea I proposed was following a paper cut style. So, I just tried first some uh, different fonts but at the end I just built each title credit as if I cut each letter and title on paper and set into the animation. It was a fun exercise because it fits well into the animated sequence. I designed the type for the open title credits, the end title credits and the end crawl. So, as you can see, today Watching title credits is way more entertaining than in the past. Not any more generic black backgrounds with white type as a rule. Also not displaying a bunch of, of names at the beginning or at the end. Not boring long rolls of type. Not just for movies. Also for TV and others. It's a great way of expanding the universe of a film. From more than a century of the, of the cinema existence back away to the current times, we just grow watching films with some great title sequences attached. And every time we found more amazing works from a lot of designers and studios, there are a growing community that talks, create and being awarded about of the art of design title credits. And even much better with typography. Okay, um, uh, it's uh, basically, I, I just love that uh, sequence that uh, reminds the evolution of title credits. Um, maybe you you can see a lot of differences in, in between the, the, the first uh, screens and to the modern screens. Uh, everybody are just growing with a lot of, uh, watching a lot of uh, movies. I just love uh, watching movies. And uh, I, I just didn't know when I was in the university, uh, but at, at, at the end, I just finished to designing uh, title credits. And uh, um, it's, it's, it's a very enriching uh, process that uh, I love. I, I think there's not uh, so much studies about um, uh, type design on, on, on cinema but this is my first uh, trial about it so if you have some question or, or something to 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 add um uh, just let me know uh, it's 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 uh, an open space to to ask and whatever thank you so much <laughs> And also, I, I, I can say that I, I'm not an animator. I, I animate, but not like the, 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 the champs of uh, the, the animation. Uh, but um, I just learned uh, something uh, about uh, our direction uh, for, for um, title credits. And 
yeah, it's a very interesting process uh, when we need to add all together the type, the animation, the, the 3D modeling, the sound, the editing, the, the by the editing. Uh, it, it's 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 uh, it's amazing. It, it's a, it's a, a, a great process uh, where I just learn a lot, and um, I, I'm just. Uh, uh, just keep going as a, a type designer, but um, yeah, that that just uh, uh, let me learn a lot of uh, of the whole process. So, it's uh, somebody have some some question uh, about it. I, I don't know if I have a moderator. But I, I'm just, <laughs> uh, I'm just feeling confident to ask uh, for you. Okay, we have a um, uh, question. What is one of the biggest uh, challenges that you face in your works? Um, maybe as an experience, uh, it, it's a it's a, a long journey. Um, we were asked at at Prolog to design uh, the, the 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 title credits for a movie uh, from a fantastic uh, uh, filmmaker, which is uh, Terence Malik. Uh, by then, we we just uh, was uh, was uh, doing the the title credits for. Uh, another fantastic movie that is uh, uh, called The Tree of Life. And, uh, but uh, usually the, the title credits are in the, in the post-production, you know, the, the, the pre-production stage uh, goes before the production and then the, the, the post-production. Uh, title credits design is uh, usually in the, in, the, in the final stage because it's Almost the, the 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 final stuff that uh, it's delivered in, in in the process of uh, a movie. So um, for the tree of life, we just uh, start to design uh, some stuff, uh, and I just uh, I was making uh, that stuff, but looks like they were just. Um, looking what kind of uh, certain graphic styles they will be uh, using on, on, on the process. And um, I don't know, I, I remember I just made uh, some cards or screens um, with some types, just like something like intertitles or something like, like some quick uh, explorations uh, of type. But um, we just do a lot of of, of these. Uh, made the the the, um, the visual effects of the of the movie. Uh, it the company was uh, a a very active on on making stuff for uh, for the movie, and that process. Uh, uh, yeah, that process, I, I think that process um, takes around one and a half year. So, uh, but it was very difficult because it, it, it's not like a, a, a big uh, uh, production on the title credits. It, it's more like... Um, um, a, a very tough uh, uh, movie, so it 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 have a, a very classic uh, style, but I don't know they they, they want to to um, to make in 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 a in a word format, and they will be just um, uh, printing on if I can say it just like that on a uh, on celluloid. Uh, on the on the old uh, plastic um, 
uh, format and uh, it 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 comes with a lot of of technical it, it's so different and in, in, in the title uh, credit we cannot uh, use the the type just like uh, we are using on on, on our screen on, on, on our computer screen or uh, like in the in the printing uh, process <clears throat> sorry um it is uh, it is light it is basically uh, shades that uh, are just projected with uh, lumens <clears throat> sorry uh, with lumens the the, the light uh, measure of uh, for for movies project projections and um, yeah the, the the way of uh, how the type how the type works it's kind of different we we just need to take care of about uh, some technical uh, stuff we cannot us um so thin lines uh, and we cannot uh, us uh, smaller sizes and uh, it, everything just becomes more complex with the the, the cellulite uh, stuff so um, it was like uh because I don't know if a nightmare, but if it was hard, because we I remember we got, uh, I mean I got <laughs> uh, a lot of revisions, uh, more than thirty five or something. Um, it was hard. It, it it just take a lot of time, but it was a, a, a very uh, cool project that maybe. This was the the more toughest uh, project I I did, but uh, at the same time it was the most um, it's the most challenging. But I learned a lot of of that project. So uh, one for each other stuff. So uh, and uh, honestly, this was not so uh, as so creative uh, project but um uh, because of that it 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 comes with a lot of of um a hard uh, thing to 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 solve the the, the problem so i think uh, it looks like uh, complex it was but uh, at the, at at the end it was um, it was great. Okay. Um, so somebody is asking, um, do you know what that Hitchcock started his movie career as a title car designer? Yeah, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was a, a multi-skilled. Um, uh, person, but um, that's why uh, uh, Saul Bass becomes uh, his title of designer. Uh, Hitchcock uh, was a, a very deep uh, mind that need to 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 focus on on movies. So the best person to to doing uh, its uh, title credits of uh, his movies was Saul Bass. And Saul Bass also was a, a poster designer, was a, a graphic designer, basically. So uh, since then, he just becomes the... the and he, he, I think he was a, a, a good designer. Uh, but as a title designer, he just uh, break out uh, the the scene of uh, making uh, title credits. So um, uh, yeah, that's a, 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 a an interesting uh, info about uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock. I don't know. I, um, our moderator is. Uh, uh, that we have some minutes for uh, left the Q and, and answers, the Q and A. <clears throat> uh, 
Jana Tsek, I don't know if I spelled it good, uh, who said this day, I need to pick a font for titles, which uh, it's two to three main characters to, to look for. Alexei Makinko uh, asked, okay. Um, I need to pick a, a font for titles, which uh, it's two uh, uh, to three main characters to look for. First, contrast. Uh, contrast. Uh, remember that um, when when we project on on light uh, letters on our computer screen, because um, and we also um, watch uh, movies on on streaming. Uh, but when we see when we watch a uh, 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 a bunch of letters in, into a, a, a uh, the the scale it's totally different than if we show it in, in on our screen even if we have a big screen it's totally different so uh, you need to think designing uh, I think the, the 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 best choice you you need to to have it's all about the the, um, the contrast. Uh, as you can see in in the in the projection of of the of the title credits, uh, everything uh, almost everything comes with uh, dark backgrounds. Uh, that's why uh, that's. It. This is because the the the, the 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 it's so much better uh, for we can read um, we cannot uh, apply as uh, in the printed uh, world world um, the typography we usually have uh, white backgrounds and in in cinema we usually have uh, darkness when we go when we um, uh, enter to the cinema and we take a seat uh, everything is it's it's dark so uh, that's the first condition so you need to think about the, the contrast uh, in, in the um, in that um, negative uh, thinking uh, in the negative shape I mean uh, in the negative uh, shapes, um, uh, maybe that's that's uh, uh, the first should be the, the the contrast. You may take in mind how many texts you have on on screen. You uh, you just need to to take care of um, of what's your um, your maximum length of uh, or width of of your text and also the smaller width of your text because uh, the, the spacing are just distributed in, in, in different way. And uh, maybe the, um, oh, what should be? Um, not sure, I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, um, uh, you, you need to, to to see your hierarchies. I mean, there are some uh, titles that are more important than other ones. Uh, as in editorial design, uh, you need to design your hierarchies, uh, different levels of information. Uh, in cinema, it's, it's the same thing, but uh, it, it, you need to take care of what's the most important thing. That's usually an information that your production provides you so you don't need to decide uh, at the 100% at the uh, maybe uh, that that information should be uh, provided by your production uh, team and you need to follow in uh, them so um and uh, for example in, in in some countries uh, for example in the united states they they usually have a, a legal um a legal guide uh, that uh, is just telling that uh, 
your 100% should be, for example, the title. And maybe the, the, the main actor or the director or the actress um, should be uh, less than the 100% and uh, more than 75% of the, of the title. So um, you should be, you don't have a, 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 an exact, exact uh, size. <clears throat> Sorry, but uh, uh, some size in between, uh, for example, that uh, 75% and 100%. And some other times uh, when you have uh, another levels of information, in the in the legal uh, uh, notice, um, maybe some other name should be appear just like fifty percent of the main title. So um, that that should be more easy. And um, but sometimes they tell you you should be in between the fifty percent and uh, uh, more than the fifty percent and less than seventy five percent. So um, at the end, you, you just need to, 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 to take the, the, the management of that information. Yeah, yeah, Alex says it's right. Uh, hierarchy is important pretty much be, uh, everywhere in, in graphic design. So in, in in title credit, it's it's the main thing I, I think because it, it the only one information you can read it's typography or names or uh, uh, some some people think that they are not necessary but uh, uh, luckily um, uh, in the way of you can manage the the the, the type you can be doing more interesting i, I think that's uh, the success on on ninja assassin uh, everything maybe will be looking good but the, the type just make it sense of uh, the whole action around Okay, uh, mm. our moderator says that we have a, a bit of time for we can leave the, the talk, but um, yeah. Yeah, sure, uh, if, if you want to, to, to hang out, uh, the, to go to the hangout, the hangout room to discuss, to discuss a little more, Yes, I, I'm gonna be in there for for a while. Thank you so much for accompanying me. Thank you, everybody. If you want to talk about, um, if you want to talk more about uh, that uh, topic, I, I'm gonna be a little bit more in the hangout um, room, okay? So see you in there.